Hello everyone, welcome to my NASAC YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In today's video, I'm going to show you the free SQL Server limitations. What it can do and what it cannot do comparing to licensed version. Previously, I installed a SQL Server on 192.168.2.244. I have domain controller 192.168.2.12. Um, they are in the same network. I divided the uh, basic operational task to seven steps um, to onboarding AD users. I'm going to show you what you cannot do with limited version, what are you still able to do it. Basically, uh, number four, enable security features, creating security policy, discovery, loads, are not able to be done in the free version. Others will still be fine. But that those four, number four, five, seven, those are most important features. You still can do lowers, that's fine, but uh, security features, most of them, like uh, session monitoring, remote password changing, and discovery, you cannot do. You even cannot create a security policy in your free version. Uh, if you want to understand in step one and two, see sign web application search. You can see my previous video, like how to do licensing integrated AD directory service. You can check my previous video and see that. That's for those two steps are same in uh, free version and uh, licensed version. Basically, I was using child version. So let's start it. Let's go to admin menu to check up licensing. So I'm using free version. Basically, I can onboard uh, 250 secrets and it can be used at like 11 users. Currently, the administrator user, NASAC, has been consumed one license. From directory services here, I already added uh, my domain here. 51 sec test.dev. It's integrated, but I didn't set up groups. I didn't do any further configuration yet. So from my task list, the third task is going to create in the sync secret server users. So that's what I'm going to do from right now. I'm going to add the synchronization groups. Um, then it will list all select groups in the AD. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick one group, like how to get users. And then we can save it. And we click sync now. And uh, we are using administrator domain admin account to do the synchronization. We can go back to the users. There's the two users has been synced in, test one and test two. So to test all of them, it's by default, it's automatically enabled. So if you want to grant your control, you can, in the synchronization settings, you can disable them. You can set, do the manually enable. So now we're going to test it. We can uh, log out from here. We're going to use in test one user to log in. And the domain. So this is a welcome window, the first time welcome window when you log in. It shows up here. So it works. Now fourth step, 
is to enable configure the security features such as session monitoring, remote password changing. So let's go back to admin user sec which is local account. Go to admin, come to the configurations. There's a couple of things we can enable here. You can enable session recording if you have license for the free secret server, the free version. It doesn't have it. So we can leave it uh, like that. For the remote password changing, it's also you can see it's been limited. It need um, secret server professional edition or higher. So for the heartbeat checkout, also need uh, additional license, and the remote password changing also need uh, extra license. So we cannot do much here since we don't have a license, we are using the free version. There's another extra stop you may want to do. You, want, you may want to customize the roles, um, which I may like to put in here as well. Um, for the demonstration, we don't need the specific roles, but uh, if you want to, for example, if you have a desk team, you have an uh, infrastructure team, and then you have a security team, you want to give granularly control the access for those users using different groups, so then you can create in the different roles and then assign to them. But the for this demo, yeah, we can just leave it there. Next step is creating a security policy. Uh, the secret policy. Again, so this secret policy also need a proper license to work on. So you can see in a free version has a lot of limitation, you cannot do those. But um, if you get, um, a pro get the right version, for example, professional edition or higher, then you can enable those features. I already talked about it. Session monitoring, password, remote password changing, RPC, and uh, you can customize your secret policy as well. Let's check the groups. We should have a psychotic users group. Then we can create in uh, folders. You can right click on it, right click on a secret, add the root folder. We call it a 51 sec test dev. We can add a subfolder. We call it AD admins. And then um, you can assign permissions and the policy. So edit, right click AD admin. There's no secret policy since uh, in this version, free edition, and you cannot create your own secret policy. So we will just leave it there. We were using secret itself to control our policy. We have to choose inherit permission. Um, we gave permission to psychotic users. Just view. So NetSec is owner. 
but for psychotic users, it's just view user. So it's a, it's include test one, test two. We finish step six, then step seven, discovery and the import. So let's see if we can do discovery or not. It's a license required. So we cannot do the discovery using a free version. So we have to manually onboard it. We can just do a new secret. Active directory account. Secret name. Let's do admin2. So the secret name is best to put the um, domain name in front of it and then, then add the username and the username for it. We can do generate, create a secret. So by default, there's RDP launcher and the expiration is 29 days. This account is going to be expired every 29 days and then require the password changing. So that's pretty much uh, everything I want to talk about in this video. I want to show you the limitation on this free version in this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you.